Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel where we discuss the most pressing issues of our time. You might not think of social media as something dangerous, something that could pose a risk to your health or well-being. But what if I told you that the Surgeon General of the United States believes it could be harming our kids? Yes, you heard that right. This isn't just a casual observation, it's a serious public health concern, just like cigarette packs come with health warnings, there's a growing push to have similar alerts on social media platforms. Imagine that for a moment. The concern? These platforms might be affecting the mental health of adolescents. The very tools designed to connect us could be causing harm. Here's the thing. Social media is an integral part of our lives, especially for our children. It's almost impossible to imagine a world without it. It's where they connect, share, and learn. It's their playground, their classroom, and their social circle all rolled into one. But like anything powerful, it comes with its set of risks. Risks that we are only beginning to understand. The Surgeon General suggests that, just as we were cautious with tobacco decades ago, we should be cautious with social media today. This is a call to action. Back in 1966, warning labels were introduced on cigarette packages after evidence linked tobacco to lung cancer. It was a groundbreaking move. This move drastically increased public awareness about the dangers of smoking. It changed the way people viewed tobacco forever. Fast forward to today, and there's a similar concern about the effects of social media on young minds. The parallels are striking. Imagine logging into your favorite social platform and being greeted with a message warning you about potential mental health harms. That's what's being proposed, a digital age warning label. The goal? To make sure parents and adolescents are constantly reminded that these platforms might not be as harmless as they seem. It's about awareness. It's not just about scaring people, it's about making them informed. Knowledge is power. It's about making them informed. Awareness can empower parents to monitor their child's online activity more closely and encourage healthier digital habits. It's a proactive approach. Awareness can empower parents to monitor their child's online activity more closely and encourage healthier digital habits. It can lead to meaningful conversations and better choices. While some might argue that this is an overreach or unnecessary panic, others see it as a necessary step. Others believe it's a step towards safeguarding our youth in this digital age. It's a debate worth having. So what do you think? Is this a necessary move for the safety of our children, or is it an overcautious approach? Your opinion matters. Is this a necessary move for the safety of our children, or is it an overcautious approach? Let's discuss. Let me know in the comments below. Your thoughts could help shape the future of digital safety. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful discussions like this one. Your engagement helps us bring more important topics to light. Stay safe and stay informed. Together we can navigate the digital world more wisely.